Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be the results for Extreme Rules. Um, not very good on this pay-per-view um, card. Got maybe two right out of uh, six. Um, but they had a bonus. They obviously had a kickoff match. But let's just get a start with the um, kickoff match here. Kalisto defeated Apollo Crews. Um, I'm very disappointed. Uh, Paul Cruz came up from NXT, you know, kind of got a big push late last year, and then they kind of um, faded him out. Um, kind of disappointed in that. You know, I can see how Paul Cruz holding up the Intercontinental Championship and stuff like that. So to me, it's kind of disappointing that Paul Cruz comes in last, you know, 2016, gets a little bit, a bit of a push, and kind of drills out. So hopefully uh, he can get pushed again. I, I can see Paula Cruz, you know, holding up a, like a tag championship or uh, an IC championship. So hopefully the riders can get the head out of their rear ends and start pushing up Paula Cruz. Uh, the Miz defeats Dean Ambrose to become the new Intercontinental Championship. Um, new Intercontinental Champion. So I was wrong about that one. I said Dean Ambrose was going to defeat the Miz, but Fortunately, the other way around. Uh, Witch Strong and Sasha Banks defeated No More Daw and Alicia Fox. No big surprise there. Uh, like I said, um, I don't really follow. Fortunately, I don't have the WWE Network and I don't follow 205. Um, but like I said, they don't really push the Crusades anymore on Raw uh, like they did on the WWE Network when they were having that special. It is kind of disappointing, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Uh, Alicia Fox defeats Bailey to retain the WWE Raw Women's Championship. Uh, no big big surprise there, obviously. Um, uh, Lexus has been the uh, form, the only woman to win the SmackDown and the Raw Women's Championship. Uh, Sheamus and Cesaro defeats the Hardy Boys to, be, to regain the Raw Tag Team Champions. So in a steel cage, uh, Neville defeats Austin Aries to retain the Cruiserweight Champion. I don't know why they made it a submission match. What so? What is so extreme about a submission match? The only thing extreme is if you can use weapons. But yeah, extreme rules. Submission match. Completely pointless. And the main event, uh, Samoa Joe defeats Bray Wyatt, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, and Roman Reigns to become their number one contender for the Universal Championship. Now, this was actually a quite interesting uh, twist at the end here because I thought that how I was hearing out on about WWE on the website, like on the internet, you know, rumors were going around saying Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns at supposedly SummerSlam. Um, they were having it. I thought that they were, that's the way they were going, but now Samoa Joe is the more, the more contender. It's going to be kind of interesting to see how that goes on to uh, I think the next pay-per-view will be the Great Balls of Fire I believe that is on next month so we'll, figure out, we'll find out tomorrow night on Raw what direction that's going and who's stuck with that and what um, what would be the main event for SummerSlam if they're still going to go with Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns but anyway that's going to be results for the Extreme Rules um, 2 out of 6 um, out of the entire thing, not a very, again, not the best uh, prediction videos, but, you know, whatever. Um, but as always, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, to um, Chris Doc, hope I said your name right, I um, thank you for the uh, nice comment, and I subscribe to your YouTube channel, so definitely thanks for that awesome comment. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys for more videos.